your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest this is the pile that I showed you and you can see how tiny it is compared to the mountain that I put on top of here now the bigger stuff that you put in here the slower that it breaks down but you can see it's starting to break down even though these are big leaves now if I go underneath you can start to see that the cardboard I'm barely touching it and it's decomposing which is gonna break down into the soil. The soil is still not great because all this needs to come down. It's uh, it's a still clayish, but it's improving the good microorganisms that need to be there. So I need to get more rabbit manure tea so this will eventually you remember let me show you how big it is now let me push it down out of the way now this is the lip and this is how tall it is it used to be up to here so everything is breaking down even though some things are very big like this if you want it to break down even faster you could just use smaller stuff like this and it will heat up and uh, break down way faster than any kind of you know this size of leaf would now this is how the soil used to be so i feel like it's suffocating a little bit my carrots but i don't know if you can see they're still growing and some are little tiny ones like this it's green now you can see all the green carrots i have right here look this one and this one and this one and this one so we're gonna with a few good carrots even though the soil was not the best look that one is already orange this one is a good size but it's still green and they are yellow because the dogs if you remember they stepped all over them and killed the center right here but I'm still gonna give them a uh, a little bit of a rabbit manure tea to help it. Let me show you this one. This one got water recently. Let me show you how it's looking. Oh. This is gonna take a long time to decompose, but I don't care. This is something that was left there on purpose, hoping that it would die. But I can show you. This all breaking down. And let me see if I can find a worm here. Oh, there it is. I mean, and you saw how much I have to dig to find this. So this method of adding cardboard and adding your compost that you get from your kitchen works. I mean, if I could find one of these in like this much room, you can probably tell that this is actually working. There's a lot of different activity over there, but they were all needed in order to break down. Can you see how this is broken down? Now this is not hot because I didn't want to make it hot, just wanted it to decompose and then later on, probably the beginning of March, I'm going to start to add rabbit manure tea so it breaks down faster. For right now, this is what we're doing. Let me show you this. This is how it's feeding the soil. Let's show you. Can you see? Yeah. 
just by adding your compost on top of the soil and manure organic matter really you're helping your soil to be fed and with good soil you get good veggies Clara can you stop crying please you're calling me 24 7 you think I'm gonna drop everything and go I will as long as you as soon as you lose your ligaments I'll be there okay can you work on that lose them up say excuse me I need to have these children oh. I know you're such a complainer now I also wanted to show you over here remember we did the same thing we put a bunch a bunch of cardboard that is look breaking down this is even some wood I forgot to cut out but it's even that is breaking down and we're creating the soil kind of on top for now but I'm not in a hurry for this if I decide that I want to use it as soon as possible I will just bring some that cold compost I make every year it's just basically dumping all or that's what I did last year all my um, kitchen scraps and stuff like that I had like a compost bin I put it there but as you can see everything is slowly breaking down and this is gonna be awesome soil by the spring now by continuing and adding more and more and more on top you're building deeper and better soil so my goal is to continue to do this every year and hopefully by the end or you know as, as years go, go by it, it'd be easier and easier to not have to put so much work into the garden but just dump and go I don't know if you watch some of my old videos, but originally we had Mighty and Ray is the brown duck. She's coming because she's a little jealous. And uh, these are the sweetest and friendliest ducks I've ever seen in my life. Like Mighty, the one that I'm showing you right now, she let me pet her. She take a nap with me. She is such a good girl. And when we got the black ducks last, I think it was last July, this one started to change a little bit and be more wild. So even though I'm gonna keep the ducks, the black ducks, even though I am gonna keep them, because I think they're pretty, that's a girl. Oh. That is, that is Ray, brown one. I don't think I want to buy ducks that are already older because I really enjoy handling my animals. But anyways, um, but you're probably wondering why. Well, I think, and this is kind of an advice based on my experience, that if you handle even your poultry since they're babies, it's easier to handle them when they're sick or when they need help or if they get out, if they're in trouble. They kind of know you, trust you from the beginning and it's easier to help them when they need it. I think I mentioned this some time ago, but when we initially got our ducks, we got four. The lady that sold them to us, she said that they wouldn't fly and they did fly out of this four foot fence so because of that one of them got out almost immediately when we were trying to put her to bed at night everyone got in but her and it was a nightmare really to do that and and then she was around us for a few days she was hiding in a neighbor's house and in the blackberry bushes but eventually I'm pretty sure she got eaten by or taken by a raccoon or something because she was hanging out by the duck's house but on the outside of the fence and I heard like she was struggling or something and when I got out I couldn't find her but some feathers 
So I'm sure something took her could have been a cat. I really don't know. I've never lost any ducks before, so I don't know how that looks, but I think I learned my lesson. I want ducks that are babies that I can love on them and handle them and make sure that they trust me enough that when they are in trouble, when they need something, I'll be able to handle them. I'll be able to pick them up, check them, you know, cut their wings. This one that is Ray, just by me, and she loves to come and see, she's coming towards me. Like, okay, you know, I know she's not gonna hurt me or do anything. Mighty is right there, and she's having the time of her life, and she knows I'm not gonna hurt her. No. The black ducks are hiding behind there, and I call them black ducks because it's easier for you guys. But it's Donald, Daisy, and Darwin. And we call them the D family. Um, and yep, they're a little douchey most of the time, uh, and they do not trust humans, but they were never handled. So because of that, I give them some credit um, and definitely learn my lesson. So if my dogs end up with um, eggs, I'm gonna try to incubate them and that way I can have them keep laying and at the same time I can have more baby dogs that I will handle from the beginning and if they're not friendly or if they're not, you know, I can always sell them or butcher them but I just want to keep layers and drakes that I'm able to handle.